Ladies and gentlemen, we continue here on BT Sport with 10 rounds scheduled in the heavyweight division, and it will be for the Southern Area Championship. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red, Foot Asylum, and Raynham Steel. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Steward in charge is John Hendelong. Our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Bob Williams. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing white with black and weighed in at 17 stone, five pounds. Coming to us from the Isle of Sheppey, Kent, he brings a undefeated record of eight wins with one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome D.L. Jones. And his opponent across the ring, he is the defending champion, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black trunks and weighed in at 17 stone. Hailing from Greenwich, he is undefeated with six wins. All six wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBC World Youth Champion and the reigning and defending Southern Area Heavyweight Champion, Triple D, Daniel Okay, lads, obey my commands. In the event of a knockdown, the fighter standing will go to the furthest neutral corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Whatever you're doing, just put it on hold for a moment. This could be fast. It could be explosive. It may only be a moment. It could be any moment. Dave Jones says if he wins this, he will be Round in dream one. world. Daniel Dubois will be thinking he might just put him into dream world. We'll see. Turned pro at the age of 32, Jones. Dubois, who so far has really done nothing wrong. Heads going in. Again, he comes in trying to come in low, gloves held high. Dubois not able to find anything clean so far. But he's you know, keeping the shape well, Dubois, and with a lovely body shot to send. And look at, look at Jones trying to tie him up, but that so much energy because Dubois is so big and so strong. Again, holding on to Dubois who last time out against Dorian Darch in December, finished him in 3 minutes 51 seconds, 14 minutes 23 seconds. Altogether, his combined career, six fights and 12 knockdowns. Good body shot again there from Dubai, but got to, that's, that's what he needs in that jab. Oh, there's one round the back of the head, you can't do that. Timeout. And he's going to talk to both of them. It's Dubois who should be spoken to most severely for that. I think just saying Jones is a little bit scrappy, that's all. I think Jones is getting close and holding. Yeah, but you can't go smacking somebody <laughs> on the back of the head, can you? Especially when you're that size. Good jab there from Dubois. Got to try and find a way in with his own jab here, Jones. Six years he was in the army, Jones, and boxed for them as well by the name of DL because when he turned pro there was already a lad up in Scunthorpe called Dave who was fighting as a pro and uh, rather uh, bizarre rules of British boxing you can't have two Dave Joneses here comes Dubois oh good left hand and Jones felt the weight of that and having to cover up now he's on uncertain territory now another left hand into the head and still 45 seconds to go in this opening round just need to keep it a little bit longer there, didn't he, Duval? He had him on the ropes there, just need to get a little bit more distance in his work. Difficult to keep him long when there's 
17 stones <laughs> plus coming boring in, trying to grab hold of you and trying to turn it into a brawl. Uppercut from Dubois found the target. Lovely. Again, Jones wants to hold on. It's a solid jab, though, isn't it, from Dubois? Just stops him in his track every time. Jones going to get through to the bell to end the first round. It's looking that way. Holds on again with another maul. So, first round ends with a right hand from Jones over the top. A Dubois round, but Jones survives. Excellent. I'm at Good first work. round. Good work. Get it in. Get it in. Well, here's Daniel Dubois with Martin right, Bowers right, in his corner. Oh. Well, your impressions of uh, the first round, Barry? A bit of a mess, wasn't it, really? Yeah, well, I think Jones was trying to get close and, you know, and stifle the work with the bar, and he was a little bit successful with that, but he had to work so hard, you know, he looked really tired in the corner after only after one round, so... Well, I mean, Dubai, that solid jab with Dubai, I think it takes a lot out of you. Scheduled for 10, this one. Is Jones going to be able to put Dubois under any sort of pressure? Misses by a distance with that right hand. Never been beaten, Jones. He's got a draw on his record. And now Dubois starting to try to tee off. Jones still keeping his gloves high. Just needs to take a little step to the left when he throws that left hook at the body, Dubois. Only a little step, just so he can whip it across the target a little bit more. Referee for the second time having to talk to both men. I think he thinks that both of them could do a bit more to make it a boxing contest. It's a good jab from Dubois. He does the basics very well. I think for the heavyweight, that's vitally important. Those straight, those straight left, that straight right hand, he works that very well. Trying to throw an uppercut inside out of that clinch. Just leaning on the back of the neck of Jones, I think. Neil Jones oh. caught by an uppercut and another one. Now he's fighting Hart will be called into question. Another right hand from Dubois through the middle, bringing his punches up. Coming in with the head there, Jones. He's done well to survive, they've got to give him his credit. Holding on the blind side of the referee there, so Dubois couldn't get that right uppercut into play yet again. Needs better opposition to bring him on. I think Frank Warren would say that, and I think his own trainers would say that. Is Jones going to be strong enough and rugged enough to do precisely that? There's a guy sitting at ringside, not too far away from me, Derek Chisora, <laughs> watching interestingly and interestedly. He, uh, I'm sure, would be somebody who would uh, relish the opportunity somewhere down the line. Well, of course, you know how tough and how rigid his, his chin is, don't we, Derek Chisora? So he would at this stage certainly fancy that he could walk through Dubai and cause him plenty of problems. I think Jones has done a good job of, of trying to spoil the work of, of Dubai without really landing anything of his own. But Dubai's finding space. And to be fair, he's taken a couple of meaty looking uppercuts as well as uh, Dave Jones. Yeah, but they, 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 they're big fellas and they all hurt, but there's, there's not really much snap, too much snap in the punches of Dubai. They're heavy shots. Just a little tiny bit more speed than a left hook. I don't think Jones is getting that. Father of two, Dave Jones, manages his son's under-10 football team. And he's a builder away from the boxing world. Talking about becoming a prison warder. He'd get a bit of respect, wouldn't he? He's a tough guy, he's taking some good shots here after that. Done a good job of spoiling it as well, spoiling the work. Oh, good uppercut again from Dubois. Jones takes it and another one gets through from Dubois. Thinks he's got him going. Punch landed after the bell. He gets a bit of a look from Jones, who goes back a wee bit unsteadily to his corner. Suck it. Nice breathing. Right, don't get dragged into silly bollocks this fight. The fight and a fight. Yeah. Right, show it. Suck it in. Again, some of the uh, expressions you hear in the corner might not be what you uh, normally used to hearing but I'm sure you appreciate why it happens. Apologies, though. Those uppercuts are tremendous here from Dubai. It looked a little bit scrappy at times, but he made a little space for those uppercuts. And you've got to give Jones his credit. He took two real heavy shots here on the trot. 
kept his composure, held on to Dubai and just stifled his work. And it's good for Dubai. He's having a different style here. Some guy who can get close and maul him and, and, and just stop him from working. And it's a good experience for Dubai, the experience that he needed. Dubai in against a tough man and going into the third round. Jones said he would give it a go. He said, what's the worst that can happen? I get well paid for getting knocked out. Well, I can live with that. <laughs> sign that he's going to get knocked out yet yeah, heads going in and the referee's got to split them once more Oof. tried to land a haymaking right hand in the direction of Dubois there but now Dubois forces him back with a big right hand of his own once more though Jones tying him up but Dubois still making his face to throw that left uppercut oh good right hand there from Dubois but look at Jones still trying to walk forward he's a tough man a brave man he needs to take a little half a step out too bad, even if it's to the, on a different angle. It's just, he's throwing a combination, holding his feet, which is right to throw again. But he's just allowing low, Jones to grab onto him. He took a little half a step out. Jones got to reach a little bit more, and he's open, he's exposed then for, for Dubai to come back with another good shot. Oh, caught there, Dubai, by a right hand. Takes it well, but he's certainly caught in there. Just a reminder, you know, even though he's having it all his own way, he's still got to be, be switched on. Don't get dragged into fighting the silly fight of Dave Jones. Sorry. They told Dubois, he almost went down there. Jones says something to Dubois, as much as to say, it's a slip and I'm still here. But Dubois thinks otherwise, he thinks he's got him going, lands a big uppercut, but what bravery from Jones, trying to cover up and trying to hold on trying now to maybe fire something back himself referee having a close look he won't want jones to take too much he wants to see him fire back maybe dubois to just give himself a wee bit more space yeah i was just, just thinking of myself you know, the variety in the work for dubai is fantastic he's uppercut swing around ditch it down to the body he's getting a little bit too close that's oh, good work though there from dubai and jones got to start fighting back the referee's going to step in Big right hand again from Dubois, and another, and one straight down the middle. He can go now, he fires one back, but he's gone. It's going to be all over there. I think it could have finished a moment or two earlier than it did, but emphatically for Daniel Dubois, he's got rid of an awkward man who sinks down disconsolately. He gave it everything. Fair play, Dave Jones. But Daniel Dubois, another knockout victory. See, on the service, you go, ooh, he didn't get rid of him straight away and and jones is not a big puncher but when you look at it jones spoiled him it's a different style he's not used to and he, he overcome that but what he did do the back jones looked like he was in a 10 round fight after after two and a half rounds he's so heavy-handed and physically strong and he tires you out straight away makes you work hard just well, this this is where the end comes but it, it could have been finished earlier but i understand the referee because jones is showing some good durability that's where rounds. i think it could have ended that big rush yeah, right straight between the guard there's probably two punches too many maybe but you know what i, I think no it wasn't the referee wasn't far wrong i don't think i think it was a, a decent decision in the end you got to give jones every chance as well because he was trying to fire back but dubai's at just a different level with the power and the physical strength is what is what really really just took all the energy out of jones he looked knackered after wrong one you've got to commend him for his durability but he went in and survived. He did a good job of that for the first couple of rounds. But a good, great learning fight for Dubai. And that's, at this age, of 20 years of age, and Steve Bunn's been going on over that as well. You know, it's just learning fights. You've got to keep learning your trade while you're young. And this is another one. The guy who just didn't stand in front of him and let him knock him over. Well, it's seven out of seven now. He got him out of there. We'll hear from him in just a moment or two. A victory it was, and Thomas Triber now tells us exactly how. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, Bob Williams, waves it off. Your winner by way of technical count out, still undefeated, and the Southern Area heavyweight champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. As you've 
seen by now, he does most of his talking in the ring, this very shy young man. DL Jones came with a plan tonight, unbeaten, remember, and he wanted to make life difficult for Dubois. I suppose you could say it worked for a while. Yes, it did, and I think it's the first time that we've seen an opponent of Daniel Dubois literally have a game plan, go in there, try and stifle Daniel Dubois' work. He tried to get close to DL Jones, whip that right hand over the top. You could see the method in his madness, but at the same time, obviously, it was another obstacle that Daniel Dubois had to get over. But I was impressed with his opponent. He was a tough, tough kid, but the power come through. But it just shows you as well, Steve, that Daniel Dubois is still a novice. He's still a novice, and we've said that all along, and it was perfect what Big Dave, the ex-soldier, did. He got he got close, he made it ugly, he pushed his elbow into Dubois' face. Daniel couldn't find any space to whip a shot up, couldn't find any space to land the did shot. Did you not distance. think he was working it out as he went along there? A work in progress, and that's what he is. He's just gone the longest he's gone, Paul, as, as a professional, okay? And it wasn't his hardest fight, because that wasn't hard, but it was the first fight where he's had to adjust just and he's had to think and he did adjust and he did have to think I'm not sure and this is a really odd thing and he'll probably everybody in the Daniel Dubois camp will disagree with me everybody in his promotional camp will probably disagree with me they've got to work to Keith we've heard the uh, the views of the experts there let's hear the views of yourself he was awkward wasn't he yeah he was awkward he was tough in his game and he brought a good, brought a good challenge to me the, la the lads upstairs were saying that's the first time that you've got in there and you've sort of thought, whoa, what's going on? And you've really had to sort of ad adapt and adjust. I had to calm down, relax, and just stick to my boxing a bit. Like the first round, a couple of rounds, I was a bit wild, but I maintained composure and got the job done. And when you got your opportunity, as usual, you went for it, you took it, you've got that, you've got that instinct. Yeah, definitely. Um, once there's an opening, there's a chance of me to end the fight, I go for it straight away. Now, what about from here on? Because obviously you want to keep busy, you want to keep motivated. Yeah. Still only 20. We've already seen Nathan Gorman fighting tonight. Yeah. How about the chances of him? Um, definitely, I'll take on all challenges. And I'm fully, when I'm fully, fully prepared, and, and I'll take on any tra challenge, and I'll be confident of overcoming all of them. Let's bring Frank Warren in, who's uh, by your side. Frank, what were your thoughts, first of all, on that? Because it was, it was awkward for him, wasn't it? It was awkward. He's a big guy, um, and he, a few times he was using his head. He was holding a lot on the referee's blind side. But he did what he had to do. It's all a learning experience. At the end of the day, once he's got you in trouble, he's an awesome finisher, and he done what he had to do. Problems finding the right guys to go in the ring against him, isn't it? Well, it is. You know, in some ways you want him to get rounds under his belt, but the other side of it is you want to see him finishing fights. So that's what the people come for. We spotted a, an old boy sitting at ringside. I'm not saying just yet, but Derek Chisora sitting watching on him, and he's ideal somewhere down the line. I'm quite sure he is down the line, and uh, you know, let's see, maybe by the end of the year we could do that. In the meantime, um, Daniels will be fighting on the 14th of April on the undercard of Billy Joe Saunders and uh, Terry Flanagan's title defences at the O2, so he's going to be out again, we're going to keep him busy. How soon down the line before we perhaps see him against Nathan Gorman? Because that's got the makings of a special. It'd be silly to make the fight now. It's a fight you want to build. You know, he's only had, that's his seventh fight. Nathan, I think, has had 12 now. So, you know, a few more fights. Years' time, that could be a massive fight. No break. Back in the gym, eh? Absolutely. This is what I want to do. I want to be the best. So, I have to keep working hard and keep improving. So, we're enjoying seeing what we're seeing and back in April. Thank you, for, thank you very much, and um, shout out to Frank Warren and BT Sport for having me on, and, and um, just a big shout, shout out for everyone. Thanks for helping me, and we love having you on, and we're only too pleased to help you, Daniel. Keep on winning. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's the loudest I've ever seen him.